welcome to my 200 subscribers video. First off, I'd like to say thanks to my 200 subscribers. And uh, I have nine questions here. And I'm going to say thanks to Asian Drummer 84 and Jericho Sport for asking me questions because they basically were the only ones. Because these are pretty much the only questions. The only one other question that was on here um, that is going to get answered that was not on the video itself was just a question I've gotten a few times and I thought why not answer it to make it an even 10 questions. Now note that the answers are also going to be uh, my own opinion so don't take all of these as fact meaning don't sit here and rip on my answers that I'm giving out saying oh you're just a fanboy you're just this you're just that because I will instantly remove the comment and block it because it's ridiculous and I don't need to hear that. So, my first question is, what do you plan on working on in the future? Well, um, I've got a lot of games to work on in the future. Let's go ahead and talk console-wise. This is still up for debate, but I was thinking about getting the Slim Xbox. Now, I am not going to go full-fledged and get a Slim Elite or anything like that. But I may get the cheap arcade one just so I can do some games on Xbox and actually have a change here. I have not sent off my Xbox 360, but if I do, I will be doing some future plans on some Xbox games. Haven't decided what yet, but I'm sure there's a few of them that I still need to give, you know, some credit towards because my Xbox kind of fried at the wrong time. I got Metroid Prime Trilogy, which I tried to do in the spring, and I canceled it. I've got, like, five different request videos. I've got SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, somebody asked for. I've got Justice League Heroes, Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. Um, so one of them was Resident Evil 3. Um, probably going to do Resident Evil 4, hopefully, unless I get completely stuck. Bioshock is what I'm working on. I just recently picked up Bioshock. Um, I actually had store credit, so that's the only way I even got it. Otherwise, I don't have money to get it. But I am going to be doing Bioshock, and I might, now this is still up for debate as well, um, the survival diff survivor difficulty of Bioshock. But that's only after I complete the game once. Then I'll have a special going on where I do the survivor difficulty. And who knows how long it'll take me to do that. Next question. Uh, do I believe in UFOs? Um, I do believe there is alternate life somewhere, but I don't know about exactly, um, you know, and I, and as in, I assume by UFOs you mean aliens, not unidentified flying objects, because in that case I don't really believe that, unless it's like some sort of spy ship or something, but, uh, you know, I do believe there is some sort of alternate life out in space, um, I, I assume that it's just so far out of this way, you know, we probably won't know anything about it until our technology gets more advanced, but I do think there is some sort of alternate life out there. Question three, what is my favorite first person shooter series or any series? Well, if I had to just pick a first-person shooter, it would have to be Borderlands. I'm not a big first-person shooter guy, and I know I'm sure everyone's like, Oh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is the best game ever. Why didn't you pick that? Or if I pick Halo, I'm sure I'll get everyone like, Oh, you're such a fag, you picked Halo. And, you know, I am not a major Halo supporter. I'm really not. I really crack down on people who think Halo is the best game ever. However... For what I am at first person shooters, I do think Halo is a great game. Um, but do I really think it deserves all the hype it gets? No, I don't really think so. But out of first person shooters, Halo is probably the true first person shooter series I actually like. Um, I really like the first Halo, second Halo, meh, third Halo was okay, I guess. It was pretty much like three, uh, my thoughts on that. Haven't played ODST. And you mentioned first-person shooter series or any series, so I guess I'll go ahead and say my any series as well. But like I said, as first-person shooter, just straight up Borderlands. As in series, Halo. Um, and any series that's my favorite, wow, I like the Metroid series, the old-school Metroid stuff. 
the the Prime series isn't bad either, but it really has a personal liking, let's say. Um, any series, wow, I've got Zelda, Mario, and that's about it. Metroid, Zelda, Mario, that's really all I buy Nintendo systems for. And other than that, pretty much, oh, and Pokemon series, they're okay too. Um, then after that, I would have to say just a series in general. Maybe Grand Theft Auto, I don't know. I haven't actually played Grand Theft Auto in a while. Um, Diablo is probably my top game. Like, well, that would actually be question... Question 4. So we'll just do question 4 now. All-time favorite game. I'd almost say it's Diablo 2. Um, there has never been a game I play hours upon hours upon hours upon hours and still keeps me interested five years and I still talk about it. Alright, I am not one of those people who play World of Warcraft. I am one of those people who play Diablo 2. And most people are like, oh, what's that? You know, most people who play WoW don't even know what it is. Um, or from my understanding that I've talked to people, they don't know what it is. They just know WoW is the mainstream RPG or MMO, so it's automatically, oh, it's the best game ever, or oh, it's the best RPG ever, just like Final Fantasy. No, my personal favorite RPG is Diablo 2. Uh, there is no RPG that has ever came close to beating it, to, in my opinion, except for maybe Disgaea Hour of Darkness, an SRPG. But that's another thing for another time. Oh, and also for the favorite series, I guess I should have said Disgaea. I'd really have to say Disgaea. Except for Disgaea 3 and maybe all the spinoffs. I don't really care for Disgaea 3 as much. I don't think it has the same effect as the first game. I don't think any of them have the same effect as the first game. But I do think the second game is just as just as good, you know, despite its storyline. Um, I did not like it as well as the first game. But overall, the gameplay was improved, so I really give them both, like, 9s or 10s, because they're just so amazing. And they have so much replay value and so much content. Um, what is, wh which is worse, for question 5, which is worse, the world ending with zombies or a catastrophe? Well, that all depends. Um, that really all depends on the mindset of others. Um... Would there really be any other real humans left? Because if there wouldn't be, the world would be pretty lame and boring. And I think I'd rather it just be a catastrophe. So, um, the zombie thing would probably be the worst. Unless there's real people around, then maybe the catastrophe would be worse. Because the catastrophe, you can get it over with. You're not even going to feel it, especially if you're asleep. You'll wake up, the earth will rumble, and then boom, it's over. So, uh, next question. Question six. Do I believe in the flying spaghetti monster or the invisible pink unicorn? Well, I can't even answer this question because I don't know what those are, unfortunately. Although I am kind of disturbed that there is something called the invisible pink unicorn. If it's invisible, then how is it pink? That's my, that's my question. I would at least like to find out some stories about it because it does sound kind of intriguing if other people talk about it. Next thing would be the favorite console. Now I'm going to have to separate this into three things. Okay, we're going to separate it into the current gen stuff, and we're going to separate company on what, out of every console that's came out by this company, this is my favorite one. Sony is the PlayStation 2, Nintendo would have to be the Super Nintendo, and then the Xbox would be obviously the Xbox 360. And then if we were going to go off Sega, I've never owned a Sega, but I'd have to say out of all the Sega stuff I have played, it would either be the Dreamcast or it would be the Genesis. Number 8. 2010, is it worse than last year um, for the world? Um, for the world catastrophe, sure. You know, the Haiti thing that happened, that was pretty intense. I'm pretty sure that happened this year. My mind has kind of slipped since then. Um, and as for last year, the only thing I found that sucked last year for the world was um, celebrity deaths. That was a big, big thing last year. Was There was just so many deaths. And, oh yeah, and the uprising of Justin Bieber, which I'm sure he had an uprising before 2009, but, you know, he really became all this mainstream crap that we have to listen to now, so... Yeah, Justin Bieber's terrible. Just like Lady Gaga and all of those other crappy artists that everybody just thinks is cool. It's like the 80s of music. 
it's going to be like their their style and their musical talent is going to last as long as acid wash jeans and mullets lasted. Not going to last very long. You're not going to hear from these people in 10 years. So, yeah. Justin Bieber's probably going to end up on drugs or something. But anyway, uh, that's not really my place to judge. Question nine, and then I got one more question after this, would have to be single player or multiplayer. Now, this is a big thing I hate to see in games. I hate to see games that are all focused on the online play or the online multiplayer. I hate that. I think it is the biggest most the biggest way to cheap out on building and developing a game is by making online multiplayer. Oh, well, that's not very hard. Let's just construct a couple of maps or, you know, for example, I'm talking about things like Call of Duty and things like Halo. You could give it a really bland story. Who cares about the story? It's all about the fun gameplay. No, to me, it's about the gameplay and the story. Because I, I don't feel I will have a connection to the game or have any reason to play the game if I don't enjoy the story. So gameplay and story are a big thing to me. Graphics are not so much, unless they are just so distorted I cannot tell what things are. Um, then yes, graphics are a little bit more of a big part, um, depending on how the game mechanics work out. But overall, single player or multiplayer, multiplayer is fun, but it does not compensate over single player. I am sorry, but single player is where it's at. Forever alone. Anyway, Continuing on for the last question that's not written on this piece of paper, so I can throw that down, is what do I think about the new Tekken X Street Fighter and Street Fighter X Tekken? Now, I have asked this question to people like Never Chris before, and he actually answered it, which I was really, really surprised, seeing as how he has like 4,000 subscribers, and why would he answer my question out of like 200 and something questions? So I was really surprised when I heard he actually answered it and now I'm going to answer my opinions on it because I have had this question asked like five times and to you guys that's probably not very much but to me it gets a little ridiculous after a while um since I don't know much about the game because there is not much any on it I even looked in a GameStop binder to see if there's even a street date for it there is no street date yet so I I don't know what the street date is, so I don't even know if it's really going to come out in spring of 2011. You know, dates always change, and when there's no official street date, I do not trust what it says. Street Fighter on the 2D plane. Cool. Um, involved with Tekken characters, I'm sure I would rather play the 2D version over the 3D version. Now, in the sense of them giving me two different games, and if they're both going to be at $60, that's going to be kind of lame. Um, and I guarantee you the Street Fighter X Tekken will get more sales than the Tekken X Street Fighter if people know what they're buying. If they don't just think they're both the same game, just with title swap. Um, they are completely different, and you really need to know that they are completely different. Because I didn't know that they were different. I just thought it was two title names up there for debate. I didn't know the two title names actually meant they were both on different platforms which is what I was contemplating before. And now that I found that out, I, first beforehand, I even thought it was a rumor. I didn't even, I couldn't believe someone from Namco would actually want to combine with someone like Capcom. But of course, Tatsunoko versus Capcom, I guess if you want to count that. So, other than that, that is my question and answers video. My thoughts on the Tekken 6, or the Tekken X Street Fighter, blah, 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 blah. It's cool. A cool idea, but I think if they're going to release the games, they need to release them at $30 a piece, um, personally. So I could actually afford them. $60 a piece, it's going to be a big fail, a big waste of time. And if they add a fight pad or fight stick, that would be kind of cool, but I probably won't need one. So, there you have it. That's my question and answers video. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, I'll catch y'all around.